Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. This day, this day, June 11th, 2020. Let me know if you can hear me okay, if you want to say hello. Yeah. Hello, Ben. Hello. Hello, Andrea. The set, Paulina. Marifer, hello. Monse, Oralis. All right, guys, today what I'd like to do, we're going to uh, start. Actually, yesterday we started a new topic. Um, I was unfortunately not able to get online with my computer, had some issues. Today, everything seems to be working. Um, so yesterday you were asked to take a look at the video in the online classroom. Hopefully you've had a chance to take a look at that. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can look at the virtual classroom. This is a really good presentation on progress. He goes into some detail looking at the last 30 years or so to see how we have progressed. He talks about life, health, sustenance, prosperity, peace, freedom, safety, knowledge, leisure, and happiness. Now, there are other areas of progress, too, that you might find interesting if you open up this PDF file called Progress. This is basically a wiki. Uh, this is a wiki website here, page or whatever. Uh, it's an entry that has different information about progress. So you might be able to find some other additional areas of progress that is uh, of interest to you. What we're going to do is we're going to focus this week, the rest of this week, what's left of it, and next week on this topic. And a lot of what we do will be very similar to the last uh, activity that we finished earlier this week. What I'd like to do today is I'd like for you to take a look at these different areas of progress. And we're going to go into a document found in Microsoft Teams under Files, Week 16. We're going to open up a file, a, an Excel spreadsheet called Progress. And we're going to open this up. And we're going to choose a topic. I'd like for you to choose a topic that is related to progress based on either the video or any websites that you found. It could be some of the websites that I've included in the virtual classroom. It might be some additional websites that you have come across. The websites and videos that you use for, for this topic, for progress, I would like for you to, to uh, only use websites in English, all right, or videos in English. So nothing in Spanish this, this go around. I'd like to focus primarily on reading articles and information in English. And what I'd like for you to do today is to fill out this spreadsheet. And you'll notice here along the left-hand side, you have a column for your first name. Then in the second column, you have one, a topic or a, a column called topic or title. All right, so here, what I'd like for you to do is include a, a title that relates to your topic six to 12 words, okay? Six to 12 words that describes your topic. The next column over, context, this relates to where or when or why or how. Think of the question words, maybe with whom this topic relates to, all right? So your topic is going to be general. The context is going to be a little bit more specific. Maybe it's related to, I don't know, um, the decline of poverty in Mexico, maybe in a, a specific region. It might even be a specific group of people, right? So you can limit the scope, you can limit the context based on, again, your readings, based on any videos that you come across, based on what you're really interesting, interested in looking into as it relates to your topic. All right, so what I'd like to do today are two things. One is I'd like for you to discuss as, as a group in our live session today 
uh, your topics. And I would like for you to take a look at the other topics that have already been uploaded here. Uh, this is all from Prope A for the most part. You'll be adding yours as well. But the idea is to try to focus on different topics and context. Now, there may be cases where, let's say, one or two of you want to focus on happiness, but maybe you want to limit the context and, and focus on two or three different areas of happiness, right? So the idea is to try to talk about as many different uh, areas or topics related to progress as possible so that we're not all talking about the same thing. So try to use today's live session to discuss. You can just simply share what you're thinking about. If it looks like that you're focusing on one topic that is very similar to someone else in today's session, you can take this opportunity to, to discuss it, to ask each other questions about what direction you would like to take your, your topic. So again, we don't repeat some of the same information that we're talking about a lot of different areas. Now, you'll notice that if you watch the video, and I, if you haven't watched the video, I highly recommend that you watch it. But if you notice, he's basically arguing because a lot of people, a lot of things, it's, it's really easy to get caught up in any of these topics. For example, uh, safety environments, uh, even poverty. There are a lot, of, a lot of things we need to improve on as society, right? There are a lot of problems still. And, and there are a lot of issues that really still need to be addressed. But the focus of this, this, uh, this activity, thinking about progress, I really want you to focus on the past up to the present and focus on topics that there has been progress, there, there has been a change for the better. And I'd like for us to focus this whole activity on, on what has been improved. Again, I realize that we still have problems, we still have issues out there, but <clears throat> I want us to focus on the improvements that have been made, right? And, and we'll, we're just going to assume and accept that, yes, we need to do more, right? We need to do more, but again, I want us to focus on the past up to the, the present, thinking about your particular topic, what has improved. Now you can decide, you know, the video he talked about going back, he had information and uh, studies and research that went back 30 years. You don't have to go back 30 years. You can go back more than 30 years if you want to. You decide how far back you want to include, and it's going to depend on what you come, come across. Now in the matrix, the last thing we need to do is include measurements. Measurements is going to be uh, about when you research, right? When you come across websites and videos, information that you want to talk about, you're, uh, you're going to have to see how they measure. They're going to tell you how they measured happiness, for example. They're going to tell you how they measured uh, the decline of poverty. Right. They're going to have some measurement, some instruments, or some procedure that they followed. And so in this case, under this column, I'd like for you to just include how they measured the, uh, the progress. Right, And so that's what this, this column is for, is for you to include how they measured. If there are two or three different ways that they measured, then include the two or three different ways that they measured. Now here, the next column over, prope, you'll just indicate uh, prope B in this case. And here, as you're finding your sources, I'd like for you to complete these. Now, for this activity, you're not going to need more than four. Uh, basically, all you need is at least one source. Okay, um, I'm just asking for at least one. But if you have, if you come across two or three that you want to include, maybe four at the most, then you can include it here. And I would like for you, just for the sake of simplicity, I would like for you to include a hypertext, a hyperlink or hypertext. And to do that in Excel, if you're not sure how to do that, you type in just a simple word and you can type in any word you want. You can type in reference, you can type in source, whatever word that you want that's not really that important. 
But if you go here, if you look at the top where it says insert link, you can copy and paste the link here. Now there's one small thing I would like for you to do when you do this because you'll notice here by default, it pops up HTTP. But if I go to, let's go to the, let's say wiki, type in progress. And okay, so I want to copy and paste this web page. All right. Notice here along the top, it says HTTPS. So we're kind of still in a transition. HTTP is was kind of the old way. Nowadays, more websites include the S, HTTPS. So here what I do is I would just copy and paste the whole URL and then go back here and select the entire space and then paste. And now I've got the link, hit OK. And now you've created a hypertext. Again, it doesn't matter what the word is. You you put whatever word makes sense to you. That's not that important, but I would prefer that you use a hypertext instead of a really long URL, which is kind of ugly and it gets it's going to open up our um, our columns or I don't want to wrap, you know, super long URLs. So uh, this will be, I think, just the easiest way. Just a one word is enough. But what's more important is the actual URL, the link to the source. OK, so as you're finding sites and, and videos, uh, try to include also the link or the links here uh, in these columns. One last thing for the context and the measurements. All right, again, the topic here six to 12 words, but the context and the measures, I would like for you to include a complete sentence. You might have one, I would say anywhere from one to three sentences is going to be enough for each of these. Anywhere from one to three sentences, but I would like a complete sentence. Uh, a complete sentence has a subject and a predicate. A complete sentence has a subject and a verb, right? A verb phrase, maybe an object. You might even want to go crazy and include a compound sentence, a complex sentence, right? Doesn't matter, but at least a complete sentence. OK, so no phrases. Um, you know, make sure you check for capitalization and, and all those wonderful things. But in these two columns, context and measures, measurements, please include complete sentences. Again, the topic, six to 12 words. And if you need to refer to the comments, notice that each one of these has a comment up here at the top. If you click up here, this pop-up screen with all the comments appears with a few uh, notes, basically what I'm talking about here today. I've also included here in the comments. Okie dokie. So did I cover everything? Any questions? Today, we're going to focus on talking as a group. Feel free to jump in, unmute your mic, talk about your topic, ask questions as we are filling out the matrix. And the second is to fill out the matrix. Those are the two things that we want to try to achieve for today, talking about progress. Feel free to use any website that's in English, any videos, any, any source online that you think is reliable that's a good source but try to keep it in uh, in English. Okay, any questions, guys, about today's activity? Okay, if there are no more questions, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. I'm going to be here. I'll continue looking at the matrix. I'll also be checking messages if anybody sends me a, a chat message. But feel free to jump in if you have any questions. And of course, jump in and share and discuss anything that you feel you want to as it relates to the different topics that we have going on here for progress. <clears throat>
בן. Yes, go ahead, uh, Wendy. I'm not sure if I understood the, the activity because I was late. Okay. I'll go ahead and repeat the instructions and uh, you let me know if uh, you have any questions, all right? So I'll just go ahead and kind of repeat the, quest the, the, the instructions for today, okay? Okay, thank you and sorry. That's okay, no problem. All right, so uh, the first thing, guys, when, um, when you think about today's activity, uh, yesterday I asked everyone to take a look at the, this video in our virtual classroom. So if you haven't done so already, I would take a, a look at this. It's about 15 or about 18 minutes long, I think, but it's a really good presentation on progress. And uh, this speaker does a good job of looking back at research over the last 30 years, talking about progress, specifically addressing the following, life, health, sustenance, prosperity, peace, Freedom, safety, knowledge, leisure, and happiness. Now, there are other areas of progress, but his main argument in this presentation is basically like, we can complain about a lot of the problems, right, about health and prosperity and peace, because certainly there are problems that exist. But if you look back at the last 30 years, he's arguing that we have made progress. That is, we have had change for the better in all of these areas, and he does a really good job of showing uh, stats, statistics, and charts, graphs about these, uh, these examples of progress. So when you're thinking about, and our, for our purposes, what I'd like for us to do is think about one of these areas of progress. And maybe one of these examples that I just mentioned, maybe they, they don't interest you specifically, you can also take a look at Wikipedia. I have a PDF file that you can open up and get some additional ideas about progress. Maybe some of the ideas overlap uh, based on the video. Maybe there's some other areas here that uh, of our, of, are of interest to you that you might want to pursue, that you want, might want to look into. But I think starting with Wikipedia, starting with this video, I think it's a good start for you to start thinking about maybe other websites or finding additional information, but that is more specific to one area of progress. You might also limit your scope or your context to a particular part of the world or a particular um, race or ethnic group, right? Or even a region, right? Maybe this, uh, there's a, a, sp a specific region in the part of the world that you want to focus on that relates to progress. All right, so a good start, I think, is to take a look at some of these documents that I asked you to read yesterday and be thinking about what you want to focus on for, for this assignment, okay? Choosing, again, one of these areas. Today, what I'd like for you guys to do is to do two things. The first is to go into Microsoft Teams and find this uh, spreadsheet. If you go into Grammar and Context 2, go under Files, go under the file called Progress Matrix. This is a spreadsheet. If you open this up, if you open this up, let's see what happened here. Uh oh. Do we lose the file? It was just there a second ago. Let's try this again. Okay, under week 16, progress matrix. Okay, this is where we're going to be working today. So you'll notice here in this matrix, in the first column, you can add your name. Under the second column, under topic or the title, I'd like for you to include six to 12 words that best represents the idea that you want to focus on, right? The type of progress that you want to, uh, that you want to focus on for this activity. The next column over under context, 
this is going to relate to where this is the most prevalent. How did it happen? Why did it happen? Where did it happen? With whom did it happen? All right, so think about the context as the different question words that you can kind of ask yourself about this particular topic. And when we put together our ideas, I want to take advantage of today's live session for you guys to also discuss not only your topic, but also your context so that we as a group are assured that we, we cover as many different examples of progress as possible, right? I don't want all of us to be choosing, or I don't want four or five people talking about the same aspect of happiness. You know, maybe, you know, we can divide up the different context if there are more than one person, if there is one more, more than one person that wants to talk about happiness, that you communicate. Now, if you're, if you're talking about or you're looking at someone from another group, from Prope A, for example, then you might shoot them a, a message in, or a chat saying, hey, I'm thinking about focusing on happiness in, you know, a particular, from a particular country, or maybe happiness as it relates to a particular group of people. And again, just to clarify at, from the beginning, you know, which, which context you guys are focusing on, right? Because again, we're going to consolidate all of our ideas like we did in the last activity in one central space. And at the end of the day, we want to have uh, represented as many different examples of progress as we as we can. All right, so here, this is th what we're going to complete under context. Think about the question words. Under measurements, when you find websites and maybe journals or maybe you find news organizations or even videos, whatever the source is, um, they're going to tell you, they're going to include in their reporting how they measured the progress. How do they measure happiness? How do they measure safety environments? How do they measure the, de the decline of poverty? Maybe they applied some instruments. Maybe they applied a certain procedure to collect the data. This is what I would like for you to include. Again, this is going to come from the, the articles or the videos, the source that you found the information. All right, so in, under measurements, this is what you uh, need to try to include. Now, under context and measurements, I would like for you to include your ideas in the form of a complete sentence. So make sure that you have both a subject and a predicate. Make sure that you have a subject, maybe you have a verb phrase, maybe an object, you know, if you want to go crazy and include a complex sentence, compound sentence, go for it. But at least make sure that you have a simple sentence. Probably one to three sentences is all you're going to need to include in each of these areas, right? Depends on, you know, what you need to say. Okay, but do make sure that, that you include a complete sentence under context and measurements. Under prope, just put B in your case. And under source, I explained, I don't know if you caught this, Wendy, that I explained how to create a hypertext. So here, it doesn't matter what kind of word you use, just, you know, just one word, keep it short and sweet. Uh, make sure that you include the link to the video or the website, the web page, wherever you got the information. Go ahead and include that information under the source sources here. We're, we're going to need at least one source. I have four different columns here just in case you need more than one. I don't think we need more than four. Um, one is a requirement, but if you know if you find two or three and you want to either you know use it, maybe you're not sure if you're going to use it, right? You can always include it here and decide later. But this just makes it easier, I think, for, for you to find it later. And also, I can see which sources that you're planning on using. Make sure, again, that the sources are in English, not in Spanish. If you're going to find a video, make sure the video is in English. And the idea is to today do two things. Talk about our topics. Look at 
as we complete the matrix, look at your partner's uh, contributions and try to offer different examples of progress. Again, based on the videos that we that I included or the video I included in virtual classroom and also the the uh, the articles that I included there as well. So this is the idea. This is what we want to work on today. And I hope that clarifies your doubts, Wendy. Yeah, Ben, thank you so much. And okay. I mean, we're going to do like basically what we did like last week that we have to choose a topic and then like go like more specifically on one point and choose a location and then develop the rest of what you said. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of similarities in what we did in the last uh, activity, right? We're going to do some things differently, like today we're we're doing a matrix a little bit differently, but but yeah, we're we're essentially going to be developing a paragraph at the end of the day. We're going to try another shot at uh, citations and references, but I don't want to get into all of that right now. But yeah, at the end, we're basically going to do uh, the same thing as the last topic. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're welcome. Again, guys, today we just want to focus on the, the matrix. And again, feel free to, to chat and uh, talk and clarify your, your questions if you see somebody that has a similar topic. And again, if somebody's in Prope A and, and you want to ask them like what they're thinking about and their, their topics, just send them a, a chat message. Right. And if even if you want to talk on off, you know, offline or talk with them and discuss it via some sort of meeting or something, that's great, too. But do communicate with any of your classmates that might have a similar topic if you need further clarification so that you're not talking about the same thing. Again, that's the objective here is to make sure that we're not uh, talking about the same thing. I don't want you to research something that someone else is researching. So uh, I think the best way to do that is to just communicate uh, very clearly from the very beginning so that everybody is, uh, is okay with the topic that they've chosen. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. If you guys have questions, jump in and mute your mic. I'm going to stay here and uh, continue looking at the, the matrix, and I'll also be checking uh, the chat if you want to send me a message there. Yes, go ahead. Is it mandatory to include the the name of the topic in our title? The name of the topic in your title. Yeah, I mean, I, I look at the topic and the title. I mean, I'm actually asking for a title and the title, yeah, is going to be your topic. So, yeah, I think you need to include the the topic within the title. I think for me, it's it's pretty much the same, you know, topic and in the title. So just think of six to twelve words that represents the the idea, right, of progress that you want to focus on. And then in the context, you're going to be more specific and talk more in detail about about your title. Oh, okay. Okay. Ben, can we write uh, questions in the uh, context or they have to be like affirmative sentences? 
Affirmative sentences, please. Yeah. Say no rhetorical questions. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, we're getting close to uh, the end of today's uh, class. I want to remind everyone when you're thinking about a topic, try to choose as a starting point one of these key terms, either that was presented in this video, for example, life, health, sustenance, prosperity, and so on. And then in the context, using complete sentences, then discuss specifically where, when, why, with whom, about your particular topic. Now, the topic, again, as I was, as I was mentioning earlier, the topic and the title for me are going to be the same. It's basically create a title, six to 12 words, that's going to represent your topic. All right, so your topic is not going to be health. Your topic is going to be a six to 12 word title that includes the word health okay and that will be your topic slash title again six to twelve words and then in your context you can go into greater detail using complete sentences the uh, specifics of your topic or title remember also in the, under the measurements uh, column to also make sure that you have included a complete sentence, right? And you talk about how it was measured. Okay, so you're going to have to find sources that include research, right? Statistics, right? Looking back at um, the last, you know, so so many years. It could be the last 30 years, the last 20 years, the last 10 years, the last 50 years, the last 100 years. Whatever, whatever they talk about, they're going to indicate some time frame that they are that is representative of the of the stats or the statistics that they're using. So that's what you can include here under this column. And also make sure that you go ahead and include the links, whatever source you find. If you're still reading, continue reading and searching for good sources that you want to include. Once you find those, continue to update the matrix here under, under source. Okay, any yeah. questions? Got Yes, Wendy, go ahead. Uh, what was the column that you just mentioned? The it was, source? Was it context or measurements? Ooh, well, we I mentioned thinking, both. Like, like the, the years, like 30 years ago and stuff. Yeah, that would be under, that would be, I think, part of the measurements. I mean, you can include that under measurements, but they're going to say something like, um, you know, they used a certain instrument. How did they get the information? How did they find the information? Right. What kind of procedures? Was it a questionnaire? How did they obtain the, the data? So any information that relates to measurements and also the time frame, the last, you know, so many years, you can include it here. Now it's possible if you have one or if you're using more than one website that they use different time frames. So you can just mention whatever you find. You know, one one study was for from the last 10 years, another was the last 20 years, and they used, you know, these instruments, just a general description of how they they measured the the data. All right, any other questions, guys, about today's activity? Okay, so I guess if there are no more questions, we'll go ahead and stop there for today. We're going to continue working in, um, in the matrix tomorrow. And just like last activity or the last topic that we discussed, there's going to be a lot of steps involved. Every day we're going to do something different, but it's all related to the same 
you know, same concept, same idea, same topic. So if for any reason, if you guys either miss a class or, uh, you, you know, you come in late or for whatever reason you, you miss something, I'm, I'm also uploading these live sessions so you can go back and check if you have, have questions. But do make sure that you're reaching out to your classmates to make sure that you need, if you need clarification about some of the topics so that you avoid talking about the same thing, that you do that. Again, whether it's in our live sessions or it's outside of our live sessions where you're contacting each other via chat uh, in Microsoft Teams. All right, guys, I think we'll stop there for today and um, we'll continue pick up this activity tomorrow. All right, so take care and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye.